All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Let's get into play with episode three of Ultimate Animal Dreadnoughts. If you're champions. Oh, last time around, but turns out a lot of us did not quit get the full correct understanding, but yep. Yeah. That's fine. It's all for fun anyway at the end of the day. It's not like extra live servers. <laughs> well, virtual ones are, but not real ones. Scores for last week, before I get too uh, distracted. First place, Lost Galaxy, 25 points. Despite my uh, predictions during the actual recording and thinking uh, we we're going to go into the negative points, Roshi came second place. Uh, Stealth and Panzergraph tied in third. 22. Uh, Butter Monroe, fourth. I forgot to. One of these is I'll remember to actually check to make sure about who is where. Today is not that day. Butter Monroe, fourth. Rosalie, and then Yulari with uh, Rosalie with 18. Yulari with 15. Which puts us uh, currently, for the season, at the moment, Lost Galaxy at the top. 14 point, total points. Elf with 12. Me and Panzergraph with 11. Uh, Brosily. Oh, that's one way to easy. Brosily is a capital B. Brother Rose of a little B. Brosily, 4th with 10. Yulari with 9. And Brother Monroe with 8. There we go. So, the challenge this week. The challenge has been issued by Yulari this week. Operation Red Dawn. General settings. Uh, our nation, you basically, we've been given 10 points for which we can do stuff. You can spend these points on ships, hints, or technology boosts to win this engagement. Leftover points are added to your final score. Good. So, engagement range is 32 kilometers. Uh, 1936. For both at the start, we can adjust that. Due to some rules. Water is clear. Time of day is day. No unlock allowed. Air design is always that way. Hopefully, it's the correct ones. Enemy forces. Redesigned by Yulari. One battleship, one battle cruiser, one heavy cruiser. Friendly forces. You can use a maximum of seven ships total. But there are some restrictions. You have a maximum of one battleship, maximum of two light cruisers, maximum of one heavy cruiser, and a maximum of six destroyers. Although, going with all those would put us over the maximum seven ships total. So, you know, you gotta pick and choose a little bit. So we've been given ten points. Basically, we can use them for unlocking ships, intelligence, launches your fight, and also you keep points if you want to, to, you know, save for the uh, final score. So, a battleship for us costs three points, and I think we want a battleship. And then we have heavy cruiser for two points. One light cruiser is one point per ship, maximum of two of them. And the destroyers are half a point per ship up to the total of three points for six ships. And it's one heavy cruiser, maximum. Yes. I think I'm going to take the heavy cruiser myself. And now we can choose to do a technological unlock. We spend five points to give yourself a plus two year advantage. So we set our start date to 1938 instead of 1936. Uh, which I'm not going to do considering we're at half points already. And it's just two, two V three, which not bad odds, but I would like a couple, a, at least a pair of destroyers. At least a pair of destroyers. And there's no time for uh, building it, so we can't take our time to make a more balanced ship to defend the rush. So that's six points. 1936 is starting to get to fairly long range torpedoes. Let's spend, let's just get a single 
flotilla of destroyers, four destroyers. Spend the points there. That leaves us with three points, which I'm going to actually keep. Uh, for that, there's a whole bunch of battle ships for stuff, which I'm not going to click. I mean, I'll click at it after the uh, battle is over and recording is all done, just to see what they were. But sinking the enemy for points. Sinking the battleship gives us three points, the battle cruiser gives us two points, and the heavy cruiser gives us one point. And then we add that to the amount of points you have remaining from the start of the mission. So, minimum three points. And you must fight. Not fighting and earning 10 points is not allowed. And the Super Battleship Hall is not also is also not allowed. So I'm going to say 1936. Because I could have gone 1938. And there's a Super Battleship Hall. Command Battleship. That's a new hall. The Modernized Dreadnought. Or Modernized Battleship. Which is actually not a bad looking hall. Just off the hop. That starts off at 26,000 tons before anything else is done to it. That's not that much more. It's the whole 28.4. This. Hmm. Hmm. has a damage control bonus. I've never seen a damage control bonus before. Let's uh, 28.5 knots. I'm going to take the command battleship just because damage control is could be good. Uh, standard veterans. Uh, your turbines too. Just to save on that. The oil three against save of weight. Also go modern one. We'll go for that. Uh, we'll hold off on doing any of that. So main tower is required. That also gives a damage control bonus. And reduces smoke interference. This looks like a giant heavy cruiser. I'm just gonna say that now. Hold on. Okay, so before anything else, as soon as the game decides to play along, interesting. You can only go with the more 15 inch guns. So we're at what is it? Plus 140. It would be very nice if I didn't have to go into here in order to get to this in order to slide it up in order to see penetration values our piercing yeah that's only about five inches worth of armor oh mark 513s okay and that jumps that's actually a big jump that's actually a major jump they aren't as well this is also with stock shells Uh, that's about 4% at 7.5 kilometers, so we're at engagement of... For whatever reason, the quad 13-inch guns have a longer range. Why is that? Okay. 
Hmm. 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 I guess this is the major question is because we can also oh, uh long range gun accuracy would be good. Uh RDF. Uh we will get some sonar. Auto Capitalistic 2 gives us better penetration values. And also our range is just massively increased. It's almost two rounds a minute, which is pretty good. We better three. We'll decrease gun range a little bit, but our gun range is also good. Also gives us better penetration. And that also brings us up over two rounds per minute. Which is good. That's on the 15 inch gun. One, 13. That's 1 1.9 versus 1 1.7. It's only 0.2% less accurate at that range. Except we're adding an extra, what is it? Four guns. We're going to have to go with uh, Citadel needs to be put on. We're going to have to go with Balanced. Our pitch is insanely high. Uh, Anti-Flood. Yeah, we want Anti-Flood. Devil Bottom Hall. Yes, definitely. Uh, standard ratio. Actually, no. Uh, increased AP. And, okay, so that's gone up to 108%. We're going to start long range. This, this really does just look like... This looks like Belfast, except extra guns in each gun turret. Pitch is insane, though. Which I think makes a bit of sense, considering how tall this hall is. Yeah, these are just odd. Like, these look like they should be cruiser. Uh, what do we call it? Cruiser towers. Not battleship towers, at least it looks like to me. But, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not go for an interesting design? Uh, let's armor the main deck. So this is going to be a long-range engagement at the start. Uh, can we save weight by range? Yeah, we don't need 17,000 kilometers. That saves us about 1,000 tons. Have some bulkheads would be good. Cap Ballistic HE. It range up a little bit. I'm gonna drop the sonar. So we on the main. Uh, let's put a little bit on the aft deck. Bring that up. Just to help a little bit with the offset. Uh, these are almost going to be against uh, the long range penetration actually increases against deck because of the angles and all that, but it will help against cruiser long range fire.
But this this hall has insanely high pitch. Uh, minus 14% base accuracy. And also... Yeah, that's not great. Really not great. But I do like that damage control buff. I think this is the battleship done. I mean, it's not... Ideally, I would have liked to put some secondaries on it, but... This pitch is insane, personally. Alright, heavy cruiser time. We are heavy cruiser. We gotta build you. So, let's see. One heavy cruiser, one. Experimental heavy cruiser. Compact heavy cruiser. What does that look like? That's basic. That's just the destroyer hull. That's been modified. I'm pretty darn sure. I'm pretty sure it's the same model. But let's go with modern. Or tower. There we go. This is a. Oddly enough, this looks like more like a battleship tower. We've just reversed the towers by accident during the construction. That's all we've done. I'm going to need... Funnel... Nope. That's almost. Not quite. Although, if we go geared, that will help a little bit. Let's go induced. There we go. Uh, oil... I will give it an ox. We'll give it some shaft. There we go. Center lines. Go of 11s. Again, Mark V guns, so no reason really not to. Basically the same accuracy as well. That doesn't quite fit there, but we can uh, just the barbettes. There we go. That will help a little bit. Drag that all back. There we go. This... I mean, it looks a little bit odd, considering there's a massive... Sudden increase in the barbette size, but it works. Uh, Citadel, yes, give me a Citadel. Want auto reloading, also give us this is a bit closer range, so I'll go coincidence. Uh, it's not too much closer, but I will give it coincidence just to vary that. I'm I'm pretty darn sure that RDF gives this gun aiming speed. Again, I don't know for certain myself, but I assume it does. TNT 4, a 2 powder, obviously, a cap, incendiary, yeah, we'll go with incendiary on the heavy cruiser, a standard ratio, this will actually get some secondary guns. That's nine rounds a minute. That's almost nine rounds a minute for basically the same kind of guns, except that model doesn't fit. <laughs> Here it is this. I mean, they kind of fit there. They're definitely, however, not perfect. Alright, 
Let's go to a four inch gun. Nope, that also doesn't fit there. What about three? Three inch guns fit there. And they also look quite good. I mean, these little uh, Bofor style mounts. I do like them. And then we have a thousand tons left. And all basically ba perfectly balanced too. Uh, torpedo launchers. Can I fit squeeze you in there? No. Uh, that's just a terrible firing arc. We'll leave that alone then. We'll leave that alone. Uh, we'll give it up. Our bet. Uh, anti torp again, just in case. Not as big as anti torp. Not as big as anti torp. And we don't definitely want anti flooding gear. Uh, to do. I. Thank you for picking that up. Go. Veterans Tender Quarters. That is 100 tons over. Right? Well. Could just simply take a tiny, tiny smidgen off the main belt. Take, mm, don't want to take too much more off, though. Hmm. Let's drop Ox down to Ox 2. There we go. Not the best 11-inch gun models, personally, but, you know, it'll work. She'll work, donkey. It's pretty balanced, other than pitch. This pitch is still high. But, you know, what can you do? What's her hull speed anyway? Oh, she's actually over her hull speed. But her efficiency so darn hard doesn't even matter. Alright, destroyer time. Hello, destroyers. Mass destroyer large. Hmm, can you fit gun turrets there? It looks like it. That's 131%. And actually almost perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Uh, standard veterans. Obviously going to go for turbines. And modern. We'll give it anti-flood. Uh, what's your hull speed? 36 knots. So it's not 387, 37 knots. Pretty darn good. Uh, two, draft two, ox one, oil three. Three force bar bets, uh, obviously radar and coincidence. Hydro, give you RDF. I may drop some speed down and all that in a second. And fit those there. What are the... Little three inch guns, I guess. Let's see, eight. Sacred acid. Uh, 
max HE. Uh, yeah, max HE. We'll give a cap three, but we will go with incendiary uh, auto and electrical hydraulic. We'll give uh, at least some. Five inch main guns. All right, and torpedo launchers. You know what these spots are probably best for? Torpedoes. Yeah, that's a good... It's probably complaining because of the little block there for... Yeah, it's... Comp for some reason. Okay. Why do you keep complaining? Okay, you're fine there. I mean, it's a bit roll, which I would prefer not to have. But let's get a barbette real quick. It was overweight slightly. Delete those. Because I do want to try and squeeze them into better. Be nice if I could place it there. Be very, very nice. We're going to complain because that mount. overweight. We'll just drop those down to a triple. There we go. And we'll also put this guy up on a very small barbette. Uh, I think they're 10 kilometer range. So they could and they're pretty rapid fire, so they could do some small work. Yeah, this... This hull is weird. It feels very small. Like, insanely small. I just go increase HE, so that there is a little bit of armor piercing available in case it gets close enough to actually... Oop. I mean, I doubt it will, but... Better have it than not. Uh, 23 inch torpedoes. Yeah, it's going to balloon us up over a size massively. Uh, oxygen. Let's see. What range can they fire at? It'd be nice if you actually gave me the information. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no, it's going to complain. It's invalid. Twenty two kilometers. Yeah, that will do. It's not the best. It's ha aft heavy. By a fair amount, but one of those weird, weird designs where there's not too much to really do with it. Like it's a weird hull. Such a weird hull, this hull. Alright. It The collection of the odd chips is ready to go. I'm I'm very curious, because I again this hull here, this command battleship, I've never seen a damage control modifier. I'll have to go through and check other other countries later just to kind of see. Even but there is no casement guns. Alright. 
as a suspected nook existence. Quad 8 inch. Yeah, if there's any room. Again, this feels like it should be a cruiser hall and not a battleship hall. But, ah, what, what can you do? Alright, let's go and see. Banano! Yep, those are the correct ships. Can't seem to buy me, but those are the correct ships. Uh, did you? Come on, game. There it goes. That way. Pull them into the single battle line. Turning. Yeah, these are. Nope. Go. These are such. This is such a strange hall. Take that one there, and then that will be it. Surprise, uh, what you call didn't open up yet. Uh, 18.1 inch. Ah, it's a Yamato. Alright. This is... I'm assuming it's the battle cruiser with... A very, very interesting... Extremely interesting. 16.8 inch gun. Single turrets. Um. Hold on. Oh, wait, no, there's one 19 inch gun on the front and then two 16s on the back. I was looking at going, huh? And you apparently stopped moving. Oh, this is supposed to be a. Uh, that's a lot of torpedoes, but this is supposed to be a, whatchamacallit, Otago, a Tony class, a Togo class, a heavy cruiser. And the destroyers are ramming, because of course they are. Why wouldn't they be ramming my own ships? <laughs> And they're returning fire at somebody. <laughs> They've missed, though. Ooh, main deck penetration. Excellent. And yeah, these destroyers are just not doing the best. Well, at least something on their side is returning fire. I suspect, yeah, that aft turret is not the best placed. Although we are, we are hitting them. We're getting main deck penetrations. Which is going well. So far, we are coming out on top in the gunnery duel. Which is good. Because every time we score hits and they don't, it decreases the accuracy of the enemy fire. Oh, just out of range, partial pen, damage main gun. And of course, we're also drawn to fire from this heavy cruiser. Ooh, fire flooding, rudder damaged, although the rudder's been fixed. Secondary gun destroyed, damage main gun. Yeah, this command hall is actually doing pretty darn well so far. Uh, then again, we're, they're not actually engaging us very much for whatever reason. Don't know why. 
But I'll take it. Uh, go for aggressive launch formation. Could be in range. 22 kilometers. Why are you guys not firing? Ooh, penetration flooding. Excellent. Okay, seriously, guys, why are you why are you not firing? Let's circle back around. Go around again. Are you firing with me? Oh, there's torpedoes. Apparently, you just had to get inside gun range for whatever reason. Because I guess fine. I'm gonna reverse the line just so they don't get out of range. Oh. Oh, they've been firing at the heavy cruiser. Oh, they took two hits. Oh, two 18.1 inch hits. Uh, she's still afloat though. Get on her. <laughs> Oh, now the battleships are engaging the uh, destroyers. Get them to start turning and then we'll withdraw them. So I was wondering why we weren't getting much return fire from the uh, battleship formation. This this would be why. Uh, we're going to lose you. For a certain... Uh, the Kalu. Why are you not launching your torpedoes? Yeah, that's the launcher on that side. That should be within the launching distance and angle. Hmm. I don't understand why you're not engaging. Oh, I'm... I'm surprised. Oh, there she goes. I'm gonna say I'm surprised she's still alive to playing, but she she sunk there. Uh, she got she could get 12 hits in before she sank. Well, the range is very much closed now, and they are murdering destroyers, which are. Yep, sunk. All right. Well, you guys pop your smoke again. The ring is up, and they are targeting only you. Alright, battleship. Why are you going HE? Oh, dude, the angle and all that. You actually have better odds to kill with HE. Because, you know. Oh, now you're back to armor piercing. Yeah, uh, Shinano. This is why Shinano is not been firing. Shinano is not in the good state. And we're just going to murder Shinano. <laughs> yeah, she's flooding. I mean, she's staying afloat pretty well. But then it would just be a case of just murdering the battle cruiser. Uh, Leon is been hit. Oh, she actually fired her torpedoes. Oh, that's a shocker. All right, let's see if we can't get um, you to target the battle cruiser and then fire your torpedoes as well. From oh, you did excellent. Well done. You finally fired them. You're out of torpedoes. You have torpedoes, but you've launched them. And it was sunk and detonated early. Oh, and the well, we got torpedo hit at least. Uh, and you are not doing super well. You are dying. You have no ammo. 
for HE. And you're targeting a destroyer. Yes, uh, well done. And we got torpedo hits over there against the sinking, uh, not Yamato. All right, the heavy cruiser is, oh, she's not too far away. She's, you know, she's actually kind of sticking around to fight. Akawa. Kind of. Not 100%, though. What are odds to hit immediately? Uh, zero percent. I mean, we are in a turn. Oh, they're almost 9 inch guns. They're 18.9s. Or 8.9s. Yeah, there he's targeting, or she's targeting the uh, tail ship. I'm able to pop smoke just to improve their odds of not being shot. Yeah, lost sight, which is good. And now it's just a case of uh, engagement. That's, you know, 99% of one round out of every several hitting. And there we go. That's the first. There's the first hit. The Kawa is not long for this world. launcher on the other side. I mean, then again, it wouldn't really matter. Oh, there's torpedoes. Oh, you cheeky little cheeky cheeky get. There we go. Country fire flooding. Oh, you, you hit uh, Wongi. Then again, Takawa is also not doing well. Oh, you actually lost torpedoes that time. Well done. You almost never do that. And there's Takawa the sunk. There we go. Not too bad. Although we did lose... Uh... The Laying And the... Kalu. Not too bad. So, we sunk all. That is... Six points plus three, so... Nine points. I'm sure somebody else did better with less points than you, potentially. But now, like, like I said earlier, what the spoilers were. I just said exit, just so we don't have the sound from that playing. I should have started modified becoming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that was the Yamato class. Nano. The third Yamato, which was, yeah, converted to an aircraft carrier and then sunk by Angler, USS Anglerfish, if my memory is correct, before she even got her uh, air wing. I'm pretty sure it's Anglerfish. I'm going to point out one of the shells from the battleship land beside him, crest frame but failed to explode. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that's saying it's eight or nine, eight point one inch guns and all spoilers. Really nice little well out spoilers. Battle cruiser, single long barrel men guns and two different calvers. Battery, battery. Yep. Uh crop five arm combined with ten inch main belt, nine inch main deck makes up the prime defensive vessel. It's nearly forty knots and the heavy cruiser spoiler. Under torpedoes, it can fire. It has no torpedo protection or torpedo defense protection capabilities. Owner captain is a known pyromaniac. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the heavy cruiser did do work against, uh, what you call it? Uh, what you call it? The uh, destroyers. But I actually hit. But considering the massive, massive, I mean, part of it was probably they focused on the heavy cruiser first when they should have been focusing on the battleship and that allowed the battleship to just stack damage instability on them and cause enough damage that they actually flooded down before and it's better stability than the super battleship hull yeah 
yeah, no, this this command thing is it is weird. <laughs> it is a strange, strange haul. But there we are. Pretty good for this week, in my opinion. But could have been better <laughs> if we, uh, you know. Then again, we did choose to make sure we did have, you know, more ships than we need. But better to have them and not need them than need them not have them. <laughs> so thank you all for coming out. Hope you have a good rest of your day, evening, weekend, or night. Take care. And hope to see you all next week. Have a good one, everyone. And, uh, yeah. Watch out for falling 80 bit one of the shells, apparently, according to at least one of the spoilers. Have a good day.